we have a good one today. Today it's all about the best or top rated makeup cleansing balms. This video, it took a little over six days to film because we were testing five different cleansing balms that have highly rated reviews for a very good reason. So if you're wondering what is a cleansing balm, it's essentially a balm that's supposed to be like the first step of your cleansing routine to get rid of any kind of oil-based products like a lot of the makeup, sunscreen, excessive sebums on your face. Ever since I started using a cleansing balm in my makeup, in my skincare routine, I have never looked back. I don't use any other extra makeup cleansers. I don't use makeup wipes. This right here has replaced everything for me. Let's jump into it. Let's start with the very first one. It's called Then I Met You is the brand. This is their Living Cleansing Balm. This retails for $38, very expensive, but it's almost, I think it's like literally five stars with over 1300 reviews. It's expensive, but for some reason, people really loved and love this product. The main ingredient in here, or the star ingredient is sea buckthorn oil. So what I did for this test, every single day or every single night, I used a different cleansing balm and basically compared the texture, the emulsification, how it took the makeup off, how well it took the makeup off, and then how my skin felt after using the cleansing balm. So let's jump into it with the first cleanser. All right, let's wash the face with Then I Met You, your living cleansing balm. You open it up, you have a little thing right here, which is a little spatula. Oh yeah, I'm gonna work this into my hands. I'm gonna just go on my dry face and really work this into my skin. This actually feels really good. And the scent is really nice. It's really fresh. Really gently work on my eyes. I have glitter on my eyes, so I'm gonna see how well this dissolves the glitter or it removes the glitter. That's actually really good. It's not burning the eyes whatsoever. No sensitivity. And it's like really in my eyes. Whoa, that's so awesome. Next step, get my hands nice and wet. Really work this to activate it even more. Now you can see the product, it's a little more milky. It's kind of like this white base now. And then I'm gonna take my makeup eraser and take this layer off. This is what we're looking like with the first cleanse. You can see I'm looking really clean, like really clean. It feels really nice. The face doesn't feel tight. It feels clean, but it also feels nourished. All right, let me do my second cleanse, and then we will go in with a toner and see how well everything cleaned. Second cleanse is this one right here. I'm gonna keep this one as a second cleanse for all of these balms, just to keep it similar. I do need to dampen my face for this. This is what we're looking like. There is barely any makeup left. The most makeup that I find on my cotton pad is usually around my hairline, so that's why I do like to go in with my makeup eraser, but really impressed that I was able to get off all my makeup with this right here, and I am not seeing any glitter on my face. Wow, they did a really good job. Really happy with this one so far. Can't wait to keep using this, but we'll have to give it five more days until I come back to this. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow night. The second cleansing balm is by Naturopathica. This is their Manuka Honey Cleansing Balm. This right here retails for $64, also really highly rated. The star ingredient in this Naturopathica is real New Zealand Manuka Honey that's supposed to hydrate your skin without stripping, but also cleansing it from all the makeup and all the dirt off of your face. Let's see how this bad boy performs. Cleanser number two. We are ready to take this makeup off. I have waterproof liquid eyeliner. I have waterproof eyebrow stuff. I have quite a bit of uh, face products on here, like foundation and stuff. Today's cleansing balm is Naturopathica. Their Manuka Honey Cleansing Balm. It looks very balmy, very waxy, has a lighter yellow tone to it. It definitely has a honey scent, but it's not too intense. But it does say avoid contact with eyes. So, ooh, that's not good. That means <laughs> we can't really use this to clean our eyes. But this definitely, it's a lot thicker in texture 
And I am gonna use this on my eyes, even though this is a void. <laughs> I wanna see if it's actually gonna do anything. So far, I feel like this one is not melting my makeup as fast or as, as effectively as then I met you. Like even my eyebrows, I'm, he I'm having to like really scrub this product into my brows. Maybe when I warm it up with water and activate it. All right, it's definitely sensitive around the eyes, so I can't really open them. It's not bad, but it's definitely sensitive. And I feel like maybe this is helping now, I can't tell. Okay, my eyes actually feel pretty good. They're not burning. I thought they would be a little bit more sensitive. Oh yeah, you can see the eyeliner has been removed, but there's still a little bit of makeup left on the eyes, which we'll get with our second cleanse. I will say my face does not feel tight. It kind of has a little bit of that um, like waxy, balmy film on my face. Even when you're kind of rubbing your hands on the clean face, you can kind of feel that texture. So I'm looking at these two and they're honestly very similar. This one right here, this one is the one that I used right now, the Naturopathica. You can't really even tell which if it's even dirty. That's how clean it is, but I feel like you can kind of see it right here, the little shadowing. It's very, very, very faint. I'm comparing the two and they both look even, but this one does have a little bit of a tint of makeup. Again, I feel like that might be closer to the hairline. This one, I liked it, but I'm more excited to use the other one <laughs> than this one. I like that it wasn't too sensitive on the eyes. At first it was when you don't liquefy it, but once you put water on it, it it's actually, it becomes a little more sensitive is what I'm trying to say. And then once you wash it off, off your eyes, they're not burning. So that's a huge, huge positive. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow night with the next cleanser. This is a third cleansing balm. This is by the brand Pons, and this is their new cleansing balm that melts makeup but also moisturizes skin at the same time. This retails for $14.99 with over 2,000 <laughs> reviews and it's almost five stars. So they have several main ingredients. They have shea butter, they have cacao butter, sunflower seed oil, castor seed oil, sweet almond oil, and apricot seed oil. Let's see how this one performs and let's see if it does a great job. Cleanser number three, which is Pons. This is their cleansing balm. It melts makeup and moisturizes skin at the same time, which sounds really, really nice. And then this is what it looks like. This one right here is white. This one definitely has a scent of, it's more floral than fresh. It's not bad. It's actually very calming, but I would prefer something either without scent or something a little more clean. The texture seems really, really nice. It's like milky. Let's warm this up. It's definitely very, very liquidy once you warm it up. So far it feels really, really nice. And it looks like it's breaking apart the makeup really well. I have no issues with my eyes whatsoever. There's no sensitivity, my eyes are not burning. Wow, and I'm really, really working this product in. And it feels very gentle on the eyes and on the skin so far. The only thing I will complain about is that scent. It's very, very strong. Get my hands damp and really work this into my skin. Oh, this is the most milky one so far. Again, still no sensitivity whatsoever. It's washing off really nice and I'm not feeling an extra film on my face. This, same thing, very similar. I'm not seeing pretty much like any makeup left on the cotton pad, which is a good thing, especially if it's a double cleanse. But so far, this one is top runner for me. Next to Then I Met You, besides, it's I'm taking a couple points off because it is so fragrant and so perfumed, but it feels really nice on the skin. Like I said, there was no extra film or layer that you can feel, but my face right now, it feels clean. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel tight. It feels very hydrated, very moisturized. It just 
feels clean, but not squeaky clean where it's just like, I can't even move my face. Really, really, really like this product as well. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next cleanser. With the next cleanser. This next one is by e.l.f. and this is their Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. It has hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and peptides. It's supposed to help hydrate and plump your skin. It's supposed to build up your skin's moisture barrier, but also help reveal a more re refreshed complexion while melting all of your makeup, all of that dirt and grime off of your face. This right here retails for $10. Let's see if this one outperforms all the other cleansers. Let's give it a go. All right, we are in cleanser number four. This right here is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm with Hyaluronic Acid, Ceramides, and Peptides. Lots of good stuff in here, sounds like. Oh, this one actually smells good. <laughs> you open it up and it has a nice white color. This is what it looks like, it's white. Let's rub this into the skin has a very similar texture. It just kind of starts melting in right away. It doesn't feel waxy, it feels more balmy. Oh wow, this is very intense and in scent, okay. Hopefully this doesn't irritate the eyes. Okay, it feels good so far. I feel like you can definitely see the makeup breaking apart, especially on the forehead right there. Let's get it on the eyes. And it doesn't say you shouldn't, keep, you shouldn't put this product onto your eyes or around your eyes. Looks like it's breaking apart the mascara okay, but I feel like you really have to work this product into your skin before it really just melts your makeup. Okay, yes, I do feel, ooh, okay, there it is. <laughs> there is that sensitivity in the eyes. I feel like this one is the most so far, even worse than Naturopathica. I feel like it's not milk, it's not, Emulsifying as much as the other products. Okay. Whew. I'm trying to can't really see. <laughs> oh yeah, see this one? You can kind of feel a film on the face. It doesn't feel super clean, but it's not bad. It looks like it got rid of most of the mascara. And the eyes are okay. They're not burning right now, so that's good. I'm just going my second cleanse. Okay, this is not bad. Not bad at all. It looks like the other ones, it's kind of hard to show these, but not much makeup has come off. So that's really good. I will say my face, it doesn't feel as clean as the other cleansers so far. I did every single step the same as the previous cleansers with the Soy Fresh and then my toner by Naturium. And my face does feel it feels tight. It feels like kind of stripped off from like <laughs> my natural oils. Like I said, everything, every other cleanser, it didn't make my face feel this way. So I'm wondering if this is a little too harsh for my skin. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the last and final cleanser for this video. Cleanser number five is the Vanilla Co. This is their Clean It Zero 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm. $19. It's supposed to have some type of active botanicals, hot springs water, vitamin E and vitamin C for a healthy complexion. <laughs> this right here has so many reviews. It's one of, I feel like the most talked about in this price point for cleansing balms. So let's see if this one really outshines and performs and delivers for so many highly rated reviews. Last cleanser of this video. <laughs> We're gonna leave off with the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm in the original formula. First thing I wanna smell, but it's white inside. It has a scent, is that cherry? Kinda of smells like a cherry candy. <laughs> All right, so, exact same thing. I'm just, what I usually do is literally that right there. That's what we look like. Take it between the hands. Ooh, okay, it's smelling really strong now. Kinda smells like a, a cherry wine. <laughs> Warm it up. It becomes like almost translucent. And then just go right on the face. I'm gonna really try to warm this into my skin because I have a lot of 
heavy makeup on today. It looks like it's melting the makeup pretty good. It's not irritating my eyes, which I'm so happy about. Wow, okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> looks like it's melting it really good without any water so far. My hands are nice and damp. And I'm just gonna work this into my skin even more. I feel like you can't really forget to do this step because it just kind of just helps this cleanser work even more. And I feel like the stubborn makeup will basically melt off. And I had mascara on that is really stubborn to take off. So, so far, I'm seeing that it's coming off. All right, let's wash my face. Oh. Why is that such an amazing feeling? I just feel like 10 pounds has been lifted off. <laughs> let's do a second cleanse. we're looking like after the toner. I think you can see a little bit, tiny bit of like lipstick fragrance, frag fragments left over, like tiny little, I don't even know, like a little bit of color left over. But otherwise, I'm feeling very clean. I look very clean. I am very impressed that my eyes are not irritated. My face doesn't feel super tight. It doesn't feel dried out. I think the only thing, the only thing I will complain about, I wish it had a little bit more of like a, a balmy feeling when it's dry, a little bit more nourishing. I will say that it did a really great job, especially with the eyeliner, the eyeshadow and the mascara. It did a really great job breaking it apart without making my eyes super sensitive or making them burn, which is phenomenal. So overall, very happy, happy with this cleanser. So for cleansing balms, what I look for is a cleansing balm that will melt my makeup off when it's in dry state. And then when you inc introduce water, that's when it's going to emulsify and really make the texture milky and liquidy and really even break apart the makeup even more. The one thing I don't want from a cleansing balm is to have this barrier that feels like a waxy film just sitting on my skin and preventing the rest of my makeup to get broken apart or even the rest of my skincare ingredients to sink into my skin because there is a protective barrier of some type of wax. The next thing I do want for my cleansing balm is to irritate my skin or make my eyes really sensitive. I don't wanna use different types of makeup cleansers to remove my face makeup and then a different cleanser to remove my eye makeup. There is only one cleanser here that I tested that said not to put it around your eyes. Naturopathica. This was the only one and it's the most expensive one that did state, don't put it around your eyes or on your eyes. I still did it anyways, because I really wanted to see why, or is it gonna be super sensitive? Is it the Manuka honey? What is it? I did it, it wasn't super sensitive. It definitely irritated my, eye, irritated my eyes a little bit, but it did get rid of my mascara. It got rid of my eye makeup. I think it did a really good job, but this is the one that left a really kind of thick film on my face and it reminded me of the Elemis. This is the one I wanna mention because I've had this in my collection for a while. I've repurchased it. This right here is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. They're in the same price point. It's $64 and both are very similar in my opinion. So, like I said, the one thing I want my cleanser to do, melt my makeup off of my face, do a good job cleansing, keep my face nice and moisturized without stripping my natural oils and no sensitivity. The one that did it for me, there's actually two, but the one that did it for me, then I met you. I now see why there's so many highly rated reviews on this cleanser right here. It beats my pharmacy cleanser. You guys know I love this one by Pharmacy, their Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This one right here retails for $34. So this one is $4 more. For some reason, I thought this was cheaper. This right here is everything I want from a cleansing balm. It's very gentle. The texture is very sorbet-like. It's very balmy in a good way. It doesn't have that waxy film on your face. It's non-irritative. It doesn't make your eyes sensitive. It really cleans and gets rid of a lot of that makeup for the first cleanse. This right here was incredible. And so was the Pons. I really, really enjoyed the Pons cleansing balm. The only thing I mentioned 
was that it's really heavily fragranced. It smells like floral fragrance versus this one, it just smells like a, like a natural citrusy oil, but very, very, very light. You can't even really smell it. Overall, I had a really good experience with most of these and it was good to compare them to my true and tried cleansers that I enjoy. I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. It was definitely very insightful for myself to see the different types of cleansing balms, why I prefer something over something else and it really just reiterated what I'm really looking for from a cleansing balm, a really great effective cleansing balm. But for now you guys, thank you so much for watching, spending time with me these past five, six days, and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.